little Auntie Crafty Tracy. And as you know, my friend's having a mermaid themed party. I made these two bracelets. This one from my beads and beads from the kit, and this one with only beads from the mermaid kit I use. And I'm making a card today. The card, and my mum drew this blank, well, my mum drew this mermaid. You might want to help because it's very complicated. And I'm using watercolours, black, brown, etc. And two different pinks and a purple. So I'm going to start by painting the mermaid. I'm going to start with the eyes. They're going to be light green. And you might want to use a thin paintbrush. And with watercolours, well that's not going very well. You have to um, use quite a lot. I'm going to use pens. I might have to use pens for the eyes, but for now it's going quite well. So I've got two separate um, glasses of water. Well, not glasses, but containers with water. So one's for dipping the paintbrush in, and the other one's for cleaning it. And you might want to be careful because it might go everywhere like it is. Um, and I'm going to be doing the hair now. Um, I'm going to be doing it with pretty much all the paintbrushes. I'm going to start with this big one. And I'm going to be using these colours for her hair. I'm going to use this pink, this very bright pink for her entire hair. But I'm also going to use the other two colours for maybe some streaks in her hair, yeah, something like that. And um, I'm also going to be using a kind of aqua blue for the background but I'm not going to get to that just yet um, because, well, I'm doing the mermaid first, not the sea background. I quite like to be a mermaid myself. Comment down below if you'd like to be one as well. So I think we're done with the pink. Um, and now I'm going to wash my brush and use this smaller paintbrush for some of the streaks. I want to be a bit careful so that I don't get them mixed up even though if you use watercolour paper it's actually really cool when you mix the colours but with this um, I think you might just want to try not to mix them up too much but with watercolours you actually have to have quite a lot of paint and quite a lot of water, otherwise it, well, it doesn't really work. You see, it's gotten darker because I have more paint and maybe less water, I don't know. But I'm just going to go over this because I think it looks a bit cooler now. I'm trying to fill up any bits that I think would look cool with purple on them but when you get to the edge it's very hard so you might want to be careful and now the only thing I have left is the tail. And um, I'm probably going to do something about the eyes because they, they look a bit creepy right now. Just saying. Now for the last bit. I'm going to be using the red purple colour because I'm not sure what to call it because it's red well it looks red but when you use it on paper it's actually kind of purple and I kind of like that 
so I'm going to be using that colour. And like I said with watercolours you need a lot of water and also quite a bit of paint. to dry but I'm also going to do the background as well. So now that I've finished the mermaid I'm going to set it aside to dry and I'm going to paint the background of the car. Now I'm going to do both sides because I'm going to maybe have some decorations like dolphins and crabs on the back and I'm going to use a kind of aqua turquoise kind of colour um, for it. So I'm, I'm going to test it out. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to start painting. Now I don't want it to be too dark because, well, otherwise it'll look like it's in the Mariana Trench. If you don't know what the Mariana Trench is, it's a very, like, deep hole in the middle of the in the ocean floor. I'm back. Here's the background. Um, it's all dry but it took longer than I thought because I was hungrier than I thought. Um, so I had a little snack and now it's time to do the finishing touches of the mermaid. So first I'm going to do the silver lines. Then I don't know if I'm going to do anything about those eyes because they look a bit creepy. So I have this white pen and I've done the silver lines and now I'm going to do like some more details. So I'm going to start off with this. Um, it's not metallic like I thought it would be. Just a normal kind of white obviously. But I think I'm going to make her eyes look a bit less creepy by doing this. I don't know if that helps, but for that eye, it kind of does help. And then the gala gala gala. And then the gala gala gala. Thank you, it's the glue in there, yes there is. So I've got this pot of glue. And I'm going to be gluing on these, these stars. So I think I've got enough glue because, yeah, that, that, that is actually quite a lot of glue. I don't know if you can tell, but it is actually quite a lot of glue. And that looks kind of nice, but I think I should have a bit more stars. What do you think? But I don't want to have any more on that side, so I'm going to put some on this side. I think I'm done. So that's the mermaid. But I'm still using the... I'm still painting. Because I need to paint these creatures. I'm just going to set the mermaid aside to dry. Now I've got some dolphins, some starfish, some shells and some crabs. And I drew them using... The crabs were from this stencil. As you can see. So I'm going to start by with these shells. And I'm probably, I'm not going to make them look realistic because why do that? You can just use your imagination. If you want to make them look realistic, that's fine. But I'm not going to. I'm going to just make it all come out of my imagination. Because when you use your imagination, it's actually quite nice when you figure out how much well, thoughts you have in your mind. So, 
This crab is so big, it's taking forever. Um, but if you don't have stencils, you could just try and draw them. Because even if you're bad at drawing, I'm sure that whoever you're giving it to will like it. And I think I might just be doing purple dolphins. Because I think purple dolphins is, is, is really cool. So just, ooh yeah, I like that. They go well together, don't you think? Dolphin. There we go, sorry, I don't know if you could see. I, I just made a mess trying to fix the mess. That's not very good. So, I've glued the mermaid on. Well, yeah, I've glued the mermaid on. Um, and I've glued these two shells on. The blue dolphin to me looks a lot more realistic. I didn't want to do any detail on it, well no no um, eyes or anything. And I've decided to place it kind of floating above the ground, which is a bit weird. Can a starfish fly? Wait, no. No, because they can float, because they're in the sea. Everything in the sea can float. How did I, how did I not know that? But well, I did know that. So now, this tiny crab, this baby, oh, I can't fix that. This baby, along with its mama, I'm just saying it's a mama, because I think it's its mama. This mama is waiting for the humongous papa crab to come back. I think I might have to move the little starfish because it's being eaten. Well, not, it's not literally being eaten. Oh, I can't get this off. There we go. There we go. I think I'm going to put this. The dolphin is playing with the starfish. I know that's weird, but I thought it might look kind of nice, like, like, real, like a real dolphin. Now I'm going to do my film. Yeah, um, I'm probably going to be doing stars like, like this, like that, except a lot better, around the mermaid, because it's supposed to look like she's glowing. She's glowing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really have to do that, but I did. I'm just, I'm just lining them up as if they're, they're, they're at school. These stars are at school. I don't think stars actually go to school. But right now these stars are going to school. I think that looks nice, but it looks weird where there are lots of stars on one side and no stars on the other side. And there's, oh, I just inked myself. See that big blob. So I'm just imagining this mermaid had dolphin as her friend. She's the yeah, I don't know what to call her. Comment down below. Do you have a name for do you have a name for my mermaid? If you do, I really want to know. Cause uh, I don't have a name for the mermaid. And I really need a name for the mermaid. You really should have. I'm going to be using this gold. I might add a bit of. Yeah, I'm going to add some more like stars, but in gold. I need to have some. Whoa, this gold is really cool. Since it's a bit plain over here, I'm gonna add some gold stars. These dolphins have stars as well because well, they're the best friends of the mermaid. Near the beginning, I 
probably showed you this. You don't want to see that. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to take it off. So this glitter. So now I'm going to put it not where the mermaid is. And I managed to sort out the mermaid's eye. Well, the one that didn't look very good. Just a tiny bit. Glitter, you could never have enough glitter. Yeah, I think I've got enough glitter. Um, yeah, a lot more is coming out now, which is quite good. Oh, I just, I'm just wasting this glitter. I'm decorating the table. I don't want to decorate the table. Yeah. So that's my card. Now I have to wait for it to dry. Next time I will also show you that or how I'm going to put everything into one big present. Because I can't leave it in parts. And bye!